Hello guys, and welcome back to more THOMAS WAS ALONE! Whoa, I'm about to cough, so I'll try and hold it in. But, I'm really happy to be back at this, and you'll see, it took a while there for them to start. So, let's see what happens. Thomas and the other architects augmented the world to suit the AIs. The splitters kept their distance. The system was never taking control from that point. Thousands of AIs were free to escape. So they learn they can't escape, but they can save people. I love just the cell note of it capitalized architects. Like, they're important people now. And we're introduced to this new gray AI who doesn't have a name. But we're also introduced to the concept that he doesn't have... I mean, it's tough, but... He doesn't have a lot of trials like the others, it's just a simple path out, or fairly simple. Not much talking needed. Okay. And we learn of a new mechanic. Wow. Striped zones. He couldn't do that before. Where it seems the architects, as I'll call them now, cha in, or got rid of themselves, sacrificed themselves for the sake of creating these. So if you'll notice, we have basically a not a. They've settled here. They've not seen another AI for many cycles, and she liked it that way. So we've got some sound leap into the shifter with fear. So we've got someone like Thomas and someone like Chris, but they're Joe. And they're figuring out things. But I just love this sort of new mechanic of these shifters, I think is what they're calling them, where they modify their the abilities of these new pieces, or they're gray, so it seems they don't really have many abilities, but they get modified to have these new powers. So when we touch the blue one, which is the symbol of, of course, Claire, they gain her superpower of being able to enter water and stay alive. And is this a new character? Is this the one we already had? So. Couldn't work it out. Why was the world letting him do this? It was dumb. It was awesome, obviously, but why? So now he's got the abilities. To the right. We get these new abilities. In this case, it's floating upward. Although it's not green, so I guess I was wrong about that. And I love how this game circles around. Like, it goes back to being slightly easy, but right back to the basics of they're leading him up and to the right. So now I've got two kinds of shifters. So let's see what they do. Joe wished Sam would stop. This was just like the time with the pixel clouds. They hadn't seen any for a while. He was always running off like this. So we've got Joe and Sam, who can now go underwater. He tried to calm Joe down. He couldn't explain why he felt this way. He just knew that there was somewhere else he should be. So what is this power? Maybe it's just meant so that they can turn back from being water? I don't know. I thought it would be double j- Oh, no, wait. There we go, because it's bouncy time. So maybe the upside down one? I don't know. It's weird. And now? We need to use one to carry another through the waters. 
which I just think this is really cool. But we also realize getting, going through the water isn't enough and we need the bottom one to be bouncy. So now that he's waterable, we can simply use him as the water one. And I'm sorry if something showed up on the screen. I accidentally, in trying to get the correct guy, changed my brightness. But, oh right, that part. So, this is actually trickier than I thought. If you can see in the bottom right corner where it shows the little block icons, I never actually pointed that out. But, it shows that these characters, um, it shows exactly what abilities they have. And that was a pro jump right there, have to say. Very proud of that. And, oh, I missed the intro there. There was a whisper. So, now, so you can sort of see the theme of this area, that's all of these new characters, and we're getting introduced to a lot of new characters, because these are not the architects, these are the main characters, these are the ones being saved. And there, they had been created. These things had not occurred randomly, and were not strange random things somebody caused this and that somebody of course is the architects so to help all of these get free so let's see oh we do have someone else here and here I was thinking to the old man the shifters had been placed in the world by the architects. AIs who sacrificed themselves to fuel their escape. So... There was an outer world. A world beyond the confines of their universe. There's now some legend of the architects. So can I get up there now? Okay. This is strange. I don't know. Okay, how do I get up there? One thing I kind of wish this game had, which puzzle games in general, are good when they have this is some sort of map some way to tell me some way I can look and see a whole overview of the level so I can think about what I have to do before fully executing it but then that takes away some of having this world open up to you Wow I was not supposed to come up here Maybe I'm just supposed to. I guess I am just supposed to. Okay, and. Okay, so that was so much simpler than I thought. But, yeah, you're exploring the world with these AIs, and it's still about its exploration. So. We have to figure this out right here. Uh, so now we've got pink on this guy. Let's see if we can figure this out. So, nope, that didn't work. I might be doing some of these completely overcomplicated. Maybe Sam had done the right thing after all. So, so 
so they're slowly finding out about these newfound abilities and getting used to them, understanding what they can do now. And good, okay. I was worried he wouldn't be able to get up there. Or she, I don't know. With these new blocks, I kind of wish they'd give them a little bit more personality, but I get with their point in the story, they're really not meant to be as, to say the least, relatable as the others. But I still wish, it, like, I can never remember the, their, the names of these ones. Okay. I know I'm stupid for trying this, but if I can... Oh wait, no, I have to do it this way. Never mind. Okay. And then... We get... These new things. And so these levels are at least... They're at least feeling like they're zipping by. Because it's not meant to be that hard. It's meant to show off these new ideas. Now we get the double jump. man behind. He had to get to this exit. He had to be the one to get out. A whole world to himself. So, now you've got the selfish one. Before anyone else did. And that, of course, is never a good thing, but, you know. Will he get revenge, or... He's leaving someone behind, so that's... It's hard to remember when you don't have the double jump after having the double jump. That's so cool how you can just switch at will between these new abilities. Okay, where do I go from here? Do I have to get up there? Is there any other one? Oh, it's just meant to make the water safe. Okay. Now. We get even more. Uh, this is a new character, is it? Okay. Once again. Platforming. Coming across when you have a single character. Makes it a lot harder for me, even though the puzzle solving can sometimes be difficult to execute or take a while because you have to figure it out. Definitely more adept at solving puzzles than I am at platforming. Even though I grew up playing Mario, I've never been the best, like, serious platformer. Like this game is sometimes where you really have to have skill in your jumps he should never have told him he had to get to the other ais of the world warn them about gray so now we have a new sort of villain that somebody wants to get out first they gave the information in the wrong hands and so now this guy is trying to stop him i am so bad with these names we're already on the last level. Sam saw Gray no. across the gap. He waved them over. He seems well, nice. They helped him to the next portal. So now we're getting introduced to meeting all of these characters together, Joe and Gray and the others, but they're still not particularly memorable. Like, I can't say I could place the names of any one of these characters just off the top of my head. Not thinking about an older game. Not thinking about, or not looking at the text box, or having heard their name recently. So... That's one of my gripes, but I really do love this section and sort of solving its puzzles and understanding the world. And seeing that Thomas and his friends 
were successful, or at least somewhat successful, in their attempt to save everyone else. And as we get nearer and nearer to the end of the games, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. I've been VG Music Weekly, this has been Thomas Was Alone, and I hope you have a fantastic day.